Hey guys, this is just a quick video for those who might want to play Path of Exile on the Mac on Yosemite, especially uh, download Play on Mac, go to the Configure window and install Steam. In Steam, click Configure Wine. That's this one up close. Inside Configure Wine, add to Libraries, go to Open AL32 and add that. This will fix a sound error that you'll probably have on loading. So this is an important step. Libraries OpenAL32 needs to be added to your Wine config. Then in the game, go to your graphics and disable post-processing. If that went by in a blur, don't worry, you can rewind the video. Here is the my Windows Steam client on Mac open through Wine. And uh, I'm clicking Play Game. Now, if you know anything about this game, you know the load times are long. I don't know why it's that way, but on Mac they're a little bit longer, so be prepared to wait. This was about a three minute wait for it to just sit there and load. But here we go, logging in with Steam, and I've hidden my account a little bit because uh, you don't really need to know that, but you do need to know that it does work. So it's um, loading now, and we're going to Lion Eyes Watch. Um, I will show you some actual load times, but again, that first load time takes forever. You gotta like start it and then like go get a glass of water or something because it's gonna take a while. Here we are though, in game and it's working. It's a little bit more stuttery because I'm recording at the same time. I'm just showing you a little bit of my setup, clicking through the menus, but we're gonna go to graphics and highlight the fact pros post Processing is what needs to be disabled and it'll get rid of a massive graphic stutter that I was dealing with and the game is Now just about totally playable. Well, it is totally playable But you will experience a little bit of lag when big mobs attack However for me, it's nice to not have to reboot to my Windows side to play if I'm gonna jump on and do a quick side quest or something like that um, it's really easy. I can just click it, click play on Mac, run the Steam wrapper, and go. Now this is a real load time here, so you can see how long it takes. Now I have an SSD hard drive, so I don't know if it'll vary on your machine where you have a spinning disk, but with this SSD, that was an actual length of a load time. Not too terrible when you're zoning between places, a touch longer than on the Windows side, I understand. So here we are, um, I'm demonstrating my awesome multi-arrow shot with lightning. It works pretty great, and I'm grabbing some of this junk just to trade in later. But like in this game, so far it's free, totally free. What a find for free. That being said, they do have supporter packs that you can buy to help support the devs who are very active and do a great job of staying involved with the community. So there's a lot of goodwill, a lot of favor out there for um, these guys. They're doing a pretty good job. And um, there's something about it that just appealed to me. The tech tree, I should have shown you a little bit in the video, is quite overwhelming. Look up on YouTube for builds if you're looking for character builds. But uh, for now, we're just running around uh, doing a few quests and and just checking it out. Okay, that's about enough of that. So I'm just going to grab, again, some of this junk. It really is junk for me at this point. Um, and I'm not very far into the game, honestly, but I just, it, something about it struck a chord. I thought, this is kind of fun. And I also took on the challenge. I like trying to make things run on Mac. I do have Windows. I can reboot to Windows in a few minutes, but I just like having everything in one environment and being able to click on it and go. And I also like the challenge of making something work in a place where it technically really shouldn't work. And often it works really fine. However, when it came to this game, again, and that was a real loading time there, not too bad. But when it came to this game, I could not find any information out there on Yosemite and how to solve the sound issue. So I wanted to put something out there to say um, a tip that I picked up in, deep in one of the forums was adding the OpenAL32 library to fix the sound, sound crash. And I loved it. And I got to hand it to the Play on Mac team for making this work. I am in no way affiliated, but good job, guys. Thank you. Once again, I'm cropping you out of my life, and here I am throwing in a random graphic uh, just to close this off and say, I hope you enjoyed this if you want to try to play.